cracking everybody one of these saludos so check it out i was watching this uh interview with uh cabral that actor and it was a, a pretty emotional uh interview where he's talking about that uh you're expecting somebody to come but nobody comes and that you want love so you're like when your family or friends or parents don't give it to you, and you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna go get mine. You know, uh, and it made me think, yeah, okay, it's emotional, he's, he's uh, telling the truth from his perspective. But not all of us are, are, are like that. Not all of us, um, like, we're not all there because our families are screwed up. I can probably use that excuse for gangbanging like, while mom and dad were involved in drugs and alcohol. And, but I don't like to use that because I knew right from wrong and you get involved in things. And let, let's be honest, when you get involved in the neighborhood, you get the respect and the homies show love and, and uh, the girls are flirting with you. And, you know, there's opportunity to make money all that, that, that's all good, you know what I mean, it's in your eyes at the time, but like that Cabral guy, at his interview, and like I said, he's really emotional, and, and it makes a lot of sense why he got involved, and, and, and his, his, him, him, uh, speaking about it, and why he did what he did, um, me thinking about my life, I I can't say the same thing. My mom loved me. My dad loved me. My tias loved me. My grandparents loved me. I just chose to be on the streets, you know. And I, in all honesty, it was over. Mainly, mainly it was about girls in the beginning. It was like I see the cholas and uh, fine as fuck. It was a uh, uh, that interested me. It wasn't even so much the actual gang banging it was more the girls at first and then when the gang banging came in and all the little gang fights and the fights and, and doing crazy shit you start getting that adrenaline and you start enjoying it but what most of these guys don't know that are getting involved right now is that thrill goes away that thrill goes away when you're bearing one of yours or one of your friends got paralyzed when you're there and they get paralyzed, it's like, and especially as when homie was a beast, you know what I mean? And he just got paralyzed and, and he's rolling around a chair for the rest of his life. And you know, he's never going to have sex with a woman. He's never going to uh, have kids. He's not going to, um, he's not going to enjoy his full life, right? But we don't think about that. A lot of us, a lot of us think, you know, we're untouchable, that we're, we can get away with whatever we want. That there's 20 of us walking around together. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing can happen because everybody's scared of us. But then you see this one little motherfucker with a strap. And he starts dumping. He comes out of nowhere. Comes out from the corner and just starts dumping on you. And you see that 20 motherfuckers that you are with are gone. That's the kind of shit that happens. You'll be having a good time. Some folks would pops over a fence and just start stumping at everybody, shooting people. That's the kind of things that happen. So in the beginning, it's, you know, yeah, you, it doesn't necessarily mean just because you're hurt by your family that you're going to get involved in the gang. That's just one aspect of why we get involved in gangs. And, and the, trip, the simple fact of the matter is getting involved in the gang doesn't have one simple solution and it doesn't because we're all in the gangs for different reasons you know uh, I got a good homeboy that I grew up with and he got paralyzed when I was busted and it was hard to see him when I came out anything to help him, you know what I mean? I would have done anything to be there for him. And I, a lot of times I think if if I wasn't busted, I would have been there for him. 
but in reality, what would probably been happening was either both of them in a chair or would have been dead. You know what I mean? It would have been that simple. He, uh, he got caught in a bad position and, and he did what he had to do and, and now he can't walk. And I feel bad for him because I got nothing but love for the dude. It is what it is. Just so you know that, that, that Cabral, if you got a chance to look at it, it is, uh, it is a very good, interesting interview, but it's only one perspective on why people get involved in their life. Not everybody is as emotional as Cabral was. I'm not saying anything bad about him. Um, Richard Cabral, he was involved in the gangs, and he was involved in their life. He's a, he's a big time actor now, and more power to him, but his, uh, his perspective was only his perspective. It wasn't everybody's. So, have a blessed one, everybody. Careful what you wish for. Sometimes you're going to get it, and it ain't what it's cracking to be. You know what I mean? You want that respect. You want that fame. You want that, that honor to say you're one of the down homies. There's always a price to pay.